I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up guys, Average Sniper here, and welcome to another PUBG video. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the update 4.3 for console, uh, which is Xbox One and PS4. This update just went live a few hours ago, and uh, here's what you can expect. Go ahead and look in the video description for patch notes. All right, so um, let's see. Cross-platform play is the most important thing or the, the most crazy thing that's happening. This was in the test server, but now it's in the live server. So players can now be matched with players from other console platforms with cross-play. Cross-play party feature allows players to party up with players from a different platform is not supported. Uh, the cross-play party feature is scheduled to be developed and details will be shared at a later date. So this means you will only be matched up at random with people on other platforms. And that is a huge disappointment for me. I'm a huge supporter of cross-platform because I feel like people shouldn't have to buy the same game uh, two and three times just because you want to play with friends on different platforms. And one of the biggest things about cross-platform is being able to play with your friends. So let me know what you guys think about them enabling cross-platform but not allowing you to send invites to squad up with people from Xbox to PS4. Uh, kind of sucks. I'm glad they have the crossplay in for sure, but it kind of sucks you can't invite your friends yet. I am glad that they're working on it though. Uh, apparently you can turn the cross-platform play option on and off under settings, gameplay, and general settings. Uh, it says if a match cannot be found after a certain time with cross-platform play option off, players will be prompted if they want to switch the cross-platform play option on. So I'm pretty sure the main reason they did this is because player counts for PUBG are down, especially on PlayStation 4. I think PlayStation has the, the least amount of players with Xbox having more, and PC probably having the most i would think actually PUBG mobile has the most players but that's that has turned into a totally different game now so with cross-platform play on on console if you're on ps4 it's probably going to be a lot easier to find a match if you're playing during off-peak hours so that's awesome uh, players playing on the same platform will show the platform logo in front of their id when played on cross-platform play option on Players will be able to identify the platform of other users in loot box when spectating on user status message. Uh, the leaderboard will be shown differently depending on the status of the cross-platform play option. That's kind of weird. Uh, if the cross-platform play option is on, the leaderboard will show both console platform. Okay, that, that makes more sense. Uh, and if it's off, then it will only show players from the same platform on the leaderboard. And then we have uh, Survival Title System Season 4. Uh, and there are some new rewards. Um, it says survival points earned from the preseason are transferred, and players will receive a 1,000 uh, survival points bonus in each mode they've participated in during the preseason. The bonus no longer applies exclusively to those who have achieved 1970 survival points due to an unexpected technical difficulty. Survival points gains have been increased significantly in Erangel, Miramar, and Vikendi to make survival points earned fair across all maps with a similar time played. Uh, there's a new feature called Survival Mastery. Um, it says, we are excited to introduce the survival mastery system where players can develop their less than lethal aspects of PUBG gameplay, this companion system to weapon mastery, which allows players to progress their skill in gunplay, while also introduce new ways for players to express their personalities on the battlegrounds with new rewards and PUBG ID. The survival mastery is a new progression system where players increase levels by gaining XP based on the player's survival patterns. Uh, the system operates all the time without being affected by seasons. The level cap for Survival Mastery is 500. Players can earn XP in the following situations. Looting, using items during combat, combat, and reviving a teammate. There's a timeline that shows a recap of all the survival actions performed in a match. Uh, it says players can check survival actions they have poor, performed in their previous match. Uh, with this timeline sequence from Mastery and Last Match tab. 
Um, there's the activities. There's certain activities that will be shown in the timeline. Landing point, location where players perform certain actions, damage dealt and received, distance a player travels using vehicles, and surviving blue zone phases. Um, so basically, this tracks this tracks the style that you play. So that's pretty cool. Kind of shows you whether you're an aggressive or laid back player. Uh, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's only available for you to see, or if they're using that to, you know, track data. There's a there's a couple other small updates for the PUBG ID emblems, background poses, BP rewards. Uh, there's a new weapon, uh, the DPS shotgun, which is apparently the best new shotgun in the game and there are some bug fixes a uh, featured map has been changed from erangel to sanak oh that sucks <laughs> uh the game mode select ui has changed so they've made some uh changes to the visual menu um yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. There's some little patch notes you can read. I don't want to bore you with all of them. Some performance issues and some bug fixes uh, that have been fixed. You can go ahead and click the link in the video description if you'd like to read all the fine print on the patch. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you on the battlegrounds later, everybody.